All alive. I couldn't believe you were really dead. I had to try and find you. You did find me. Did everyone else escape? Yeah, they're okay. They took the cart and headed back to the school. We're safe, Clem. All we gotta do now is find our way home. Any idea which way that is? I know an old bridge near here. If we cross it, we won't be too far from the school. your hand feeling? It'll be fine once it scabs over. The worst is when it itches. It feels like your finger's still there and it itches, but there's nothing to scratch. At least I can still flip people off. Silver lining, I guess. Well, we were looking for you guys and I... I thought you might be gone for good. I was trying to figure out what I'd do if you were gone. And I realized how goddamn stupid I was about Minnie. For a whole fucking year. I was so wrapped up in losing her and Sophie, I pushed away everyone who tried to care about me. Marlon, Brody, Lewis, even you and AJ. I, I, I tried my damnedest not to care about either of you. I know where you're coming from. After losing so many people, sometimes it's easier to keep everyone at arm's length. And then you wonder why you fight so hard to stay alive. I don't wonder anymore. Jesus, everything's so different now. Me, us, the school. I remember how Marlon described it, and what we were gonna turn Erickson into. It's not the way any of us pictured it. How did you picture it? I guess I couldn't. I just listened to what Marlon said. How it would be a home. A real one, but I couldn't really wrap my head around it. My family lived in a trailer. What about you? Where'd you live? I lived in a house with my mom and dad. Fence around it, big backyard. What was your favorite part of the house? I liked my bedroom. My parents painted flowers on the walls, and I had this little white bookcase. What kinds of books? Well, one of my favorites was about a family of kids living in the woods together in this old, abandoned train car. Then, it turned out they had this rich grandfather who took them to live in his mansion. <laughs> you got a rich grandpa who will take us away from all this? Hmm, I don't think so. Damn. <sighs> you know, Erickson can still be the home Marlon promised. As soon as we get back, 
we'll start rebuilding. Hmm. It'll be a lot of work, but you're right. And it is worth it. We'll have to move some bookcases into your room. Then you can read us stories about train cars and rich grandpas. <laughs> After all that's happened, it's still hard to imagine. I mean, we fought for it, defended it. It should feel more like home than ever, but it doesn't. You know what the problem is? That stupid fucking name, Erickson. You want to rename it? <laughs> yeah, fuck that guy. We should name it something cool. Threatening, but not like scary. What about the rotting shithole? <laughs> it's accurate and uh, <laughs> kind of cool, like a rock band. I'm in. I want to help rebuild our school. You will, Ten. We all will. We can save the school.